Welcome to New Lights On podcast. If you like what you hear, please tap into your generosity, rate us five star, and share. My name is Mitra Manesh. I'm a mindfulness storyteller and educator. I teach at UCLA's Mindful Awareness Research Center at Semmel Institute for Neuroscience and Human Behavior. I'm the founder of InnerMap Mindfulness App, and I've also been privately coaching many knowns and unknowns of the world, helping them to live, love, and lead more mindfully at home and at work for the past 35 years. I'm so excited to share with all of you real moments, real questions, real answers, and real stories that happen in my day-to-day life during teaching, coaching, and other interactions. Some episodes are directly recorded at location and some recorded in my studio. Lights On Podcast was born to shed light on the challenges and magic we share in life. Some topics may be a bit more challenging than others, but I hope I can spark curiosity, compassion, and growth in each of your lives, and maybe even coach you in how to navigate things with a bit more ease and peace. This episode is about love. Love is one of the most researched and talked about subjects of all times and perhaps the least understood one. We overuse the word, misuse it, abuse it, and sometimes even underuse it. I say I love my soup, then I say I love humanity or my daughter or my partner. When my needs get met, I say thank you, I love you. And then at times when I really deeply love another being, I may be hesitant to tell them. So, What is this mysterious force, energy, experience called love that shows up in our everyday life? Allow me to invite you to my world of phenomenology about love. For me, love can take place at many different dimensions. Generally, those dimensions are physical, emotional, intellectual, and the deeper sense of it, which is spiritual. If you think about it, However we enter the home of love, we are all seeking the same thing, connection. Whether we want to physically become one and get rewarded with pleasure, emotionally experience oneness and feel happy, safe, warm, intellectually connect and feel understood or understand, or energetically and spiritually feel the unity with each other or the higher consciousness, It is all about connection. This has been helpful for me and those that I work with because when we get clear about what we're seeking in order to feed our body, heart, mind, and spirit, then it gets easier to find it, enjoy it, and sustain it. So if you're so hungry for these connections and want them so deeply, so badly, so multidimensionally, then Why are we not experiencing them as much as we want at times? Rumi, the Persian poet and philosopher, says, Your task is not to seek for love, but merely to seek and find all the barriers within yourself that you have built against love. This is so true. What I've been witnessing from bedrooms to boardrooms is that we may be calling love, but we're speaking fear, which is the opposite of love. If love is connection, fear is disconnection. Disconnection with self, disconnection with each other, and disconnection with the source. So when I'm seeking love at any dimension, and if I'm not accessing it, I ask myself, is fear present? And if so, How can I invite love to come in and take stage in the home of my body, heart, mind, or spirit? Here's a few lines from a poem that I wrote back in 2006 about love and fear. I stand firm to protect all that I aspire, 
Fear can stay, leave, or even become love if it so desire. But my love and I are here, and here is where we stay with all of our fire. And the will and courage to enjoy love is what I now acquire. Wishing you connection on this day of celebration of love and beyond. As Rumi says, love is the bridge between you and everything. Hope this episode answered the question or two for you or provoked and inspired questions in you. I'm so grateful you showed up and listened up. Until the next time, be well and stay curious.